Hi friends, Namaste. This is Lakshmi again. Uh, today in this video I am going to show some very very effective yoga postures for umbilical hernia which is very common in ladies especially after deliveries whether it's a caesarean or not. So first one, very simple one. We'll start with very simple one. Lie down on your back. Stretch one leg at a time. Lift one leg. So just when you're lifting your leg, again you have to use your tummy. Okay, this is where we need to strengthen. So when you're breathing out, squeeze your tummy. Breathe in. Breathing out, squeezing your tummy. Lift your leg up. Only 45 degrees, not 90 degrees. Just lift 45 degrees and hold here. See, when you are holding the leg there, you have to keep the tummy tight. So hold here for five counts. Five deep breaths. Never hold the breath because I already, there is, if you create pressure in, inside the tummy, there is a chance of increasing the bulge. So be careful, always take breath. Don't hold your breath. Just place your palm on your navel. One, two, three, four, deep breaths, five, and breathing out, bring your leg down. You see, you have to squeeze your tummy whenever you want to lift, even one single leg or both legs. So, we'll repeat with the left leg, place your palm on your tummy, on your now we we'll just try to press it there. Breathe in. Breathing out. Lift. See, you can feel the twisting and squeezing of tummy muscles when you place your hand and lift leg. Hold here. Deep breathing. Five counts. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. And slowly bring down. Okay, this is only we need to do. When you place your hand on the tummy, on the navel, so you can feel the involvement or the squeezing of your abs. So this is where we need to strengthen. Okay, now we will repeat. Again, place your palm on your navel where you feel the bulge. Take a deep breath in. We'll repeat with both legs. Breathing out, lift your legs. See, you can see the tightening of your tummy. Hold here, five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five. And slowly bring down. Ah, you can see the squeezing of tummy and this is how we can push it down and strengthen the core which will help for relieving the hernia okay this is one and one more thing bend your knees separate hip distance okay table top your pelvis flat pelvis on the floor now deep breath in stretch your hands above the head okay breathe in here Stretch your hands above the head. Again, breathing out. Again, you have to squeeze your tummy. Pull your tummy in as if you are squeezing it in when you breathe out. Breathing out, squeeze your tummy. Try to reach your hands on your knees. Breathing up. Breathing out. Squeeze your tummy. Reach your hands to the knees. And stretch your hands up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, squeeze the tummy, pull your tummy in. Ten, and relax. Stretch one leg at a time. You can 
can see the squeezing. You can feel the squeezing in the tummy. This is how we need to strengthen the core for relieving the umbilical hernia. Relax for two minutes. Okay, so one more thing what we can do is Lift your leg and rotate it. Place your left palm on your navel and make five big circles. Again, you can see there is involvement of your tummy when you do these rotations. One, two, three. Breathe in, breathe out. Deep breaths. Four, five. Repeat on the side. One, two. Three, four, five. Back in, up, hug your knee. And relax. Now place the other hand on your tummy and lift your, stretch your left leg. We'll repeat with the other leg. One, two, three. Follow with deep breaths. Never hold your breath. Four. Five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. And hug your knee. And relax, stretch it. Okay. One more important posture for umbilical hernia is a boat pose. Again, there is a lot of squeezing of your tummy. So adjust your hips. Lift your legs. And stretch your hands. Hold here, deep breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. You can see you have to hold this posture only with the help of your core. So it helps to strengthen. In the initially, if you are, if you're not able to do this, you can even bend your legs and do this way. Also, this is the modification. Initially, you can try this way. Again, there is tightening of your tummy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is how you can tighten the core. One more thing what we can do is uh, elbow plank. So lie down on your back. Sorry, lie down on the mat. Elbows shoulder distance, spread your elbows and tuck your toes. And take a deep breath in. Lift up. Okay, again you are involving. You have to tighten your tummy and core. And straight hips, even tighten your butts. Hold here, deep breathing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Deep breathing, don't hold your breath. Nine, ten. Relax, turn head one side. Take a big break for two minutes. You can see your heartbeat is going up. And you involve your tummy and your back and your butts. So it's very, very good and effective for hernia. Okay. Also, you can do the half cobra. Bring your elbows. So there is again pressure on the tummy. Just lift your chest. Hold here. Causing the pressure on your navel. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Turn head to the other side. Take a break. You can repeat again one more time. One, you need not lift completely. You have to see that there is pressure on the half cobra. Is it 
two, three. Again, here also you have to squeeze your butt and toes on the floor. Four, five. Turn head one side. Relax. Okay, one more thing what we can do for uh, hernia is again, place your both palms on your navel, one about the other. Breathe in, breathing out again, pulling your tummy in, just bend as much you can bend over your knees. If you can touch the forehead down, if you cannot, okay, you can be here. Fall here, one, two. 3D breathing, 4, 5, breathing in, lift up. This is also very effective as you are squeezing your tummy. We will repeat one more time. Place one palm, both the palms one above the other on the navel. Breathe in, breathing out, squeezing your tummy in, bend over the knees. Hold here, breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. And rise up. Okay, so these all you can repeat. Which are very, very effective for umbilical hernia. Now one more. Very easy and simple one, but very good for umbilical hernia is cycling. So lie on your back, just do cycling in the air. So when you do, again you are using these abs, you can place one palm on your navel. Breathe in, breathe out and repeat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and we will do the reverse. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see you, when you place your hand, you can see the muscles involved. This is very simple, but you have to increase. Start with ten, but increase twenty, thirty, and also this also helps to strengthen the core, which helps for hernia. Relax for some time. One more effective uh, posture for hernia is both pose but lying on the mat. This way also we can do this is a variation of both pose, now castle. So lie flat on your back. Breathe in. Breathing out again, squeezing, pull your tummy in and lift your upper body as much you can lift up, straight your hands and lift your legs. Just let it see. You can feel the tightness of your tummy. Hold here. Breathe in, breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. We'll repeat one more time. A lot of tightness you can feel when you do this. Breathe in. Breathing out. Lift your legs just one feet above the ground. One. Two, three, four, five. Ah. So relax in Shavasana. Okay, friends. So please do try these. They are very, very effective. You can see the difference after doing them. You can start with 10 and then increase the numbers uh, according to your uh, condition of the hernia. This is very, very effective if you do regularly. And also take care of uh, overall uh, your weight. Reduce the weight if it is too much. And uh, cut down your excess calories. Take care of your health. Be regular in your exercise. And uh, be happy. Be healthy. Thank you. Keep watching my channel. This is Lakshmi. Bye-bye.